drinking buddies. This has been a flight I've wanted to do all year. And I finally got the BRTO2 today. So we can finally test out which is the best release from makers from last year and this year. I got here FAE01, FAE02, BRTO1, and BRTO2. Let's find out which one's the best. Only way to really do it, blind. I'm your drinking buddy. Ooh, okay. Something a little bit, just a tad herbal on this one. <sighs> kind of proofy. And cinnamon. Mmm. Incredible mouthfeel on that one. But hot. That one tastes hot. Um, sweet, brown sugar, bourbon vanilla, caramel. Caramel sweetness. No cherry on that one. At least not yet. Sometimes I pick up different notes when I go through a second time. Okay, you know, I kind of expected maybe these would be very similar, um, but this is completely different nose. This one is more bright and citrusy. Hmm. But with a little bit of a grain thing in there. The corn. Dried corn. That one is, um, I would say that's dramatically better than glass one. This one's got a little bit of a maple syrupy thing. Like, just dramatically lighter in proof than the first one. This The first one tastes, like, dramatically hotter than the second. Um, and these are all around the same proof. They go 110.6, 109.1, 109.4, and 109.4. So mostly 109. The hottest one is FAE01, um, but I don't remember it tasting hot at all. And generally, I don't consider anything to be hot unless it's larceny barrel proof. <laughs> oh, wow. Now this one, I said maple on that one. This one is maple. Maple. Yeah, just maple. <laughs> Hmm. This is going to be hard. That's really tasty. That one is, um, cherry, vanilla, um, a little bit of caramel, maybe even a little bit of a, little bit of a dark chocolate thing. That's really tasty. Great mouthfeel. Very syrupy. So far, each one has gotten better. <laughs> Okay. Now this one has got a little bit of the standard Maker's Mark nose, which I would call Barnyard. Um, like hay and barn. Mmm. may not have a great nose, but it tastes exceptional. Um, this has been one of my favorite series for a reason. I think that all four are good. This one is standing out as being the worst of the four, but they're all four good. Um, really, these three are just straight up excellent. Um, it's probably going to be splitting hairs to decide which one I like best, but... I like the bourbon vanilla and cherry qualities that I'm getting off of this one. Kind of reminds me of Weller, which is nice. Um, but this one's also got a little bit of a an older note to it. Like old books, like leather, like tobacco. Well, maybe not tobacco, but... 
I often call it damp basement. <laughs> um, when the, you get those older, kind of musty flavors. Um, and I, I don't mean that in a bad way. It's, it's not a note that takes over the, the glass. It's, it's a subtle note that just helps it be rounded and, and give great flavor. Um, good, excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's go through them again. I'll fast forward through this part, figure out which one's the best. All right, drinking buddies. I went through them again. I think these two on the end are the FAEs. Sorry, these two on the ends are the FAEs. I think these two in the middle are the BRTs because I prefer these two. I think this one's my favorite, second favorite, third favorite, fourth favorite. So I'm gonna guess 0102, um, sorry, BRT01, BRT02, no, yeah. BRT01, BRT02, FAE02, FAE01. I'm gonna guess that that one that tasted hot is the highest proof one, even though it's barely highest proof. It didn't drink as hot the second round through. Still the weakest though, just not delivering the great mouthfeel that you get off the other three. And if that is the FAE01, it'd be kind of funny because the last time I did a flight with FAE01 and FAO02, I barely, barely picked FAE01 as my favorite of the two. Let's find out if I'm right about anything. So let's go least favorite first. Hey, what do you know? That is the FAE01. FAE02, oh man. Um, are we going to have a queen sweep here? Um, this one I said was the BRTO um, one because it was my favorite. No, the BRTO two was my favorite and the BRTO one was my second favorite. Okay, so I didn't get the queen sweep, but I did guess that these were the BRTs and that those were the FAEs. Um, which by the way, can we just call them Bert's and Faye's? Bert and Faye? That's just way easier to say. Bert 01, Bert 1, Bert 2, Fay 1, Fay 2, FAE 01, FAE 02. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, this is everyone is right about this bottle. Uh, this, people are saying, is better than the FAE 01. Um, I did FAE 01 in a blind, and it beat my other favorite bottles of the year, and this just beat that. So, bottle of the year so far, guys. BRT02, if you can get it, get it. It's it's a banger. Uh, I would say easily this would be, easily this would be Weller Foolproof in a blind. Easily. This would easily be uh, like a Rebel Tenier in a blind. This would easily be any Larceny Barrel Proof ever released blind, as far as I'm concerned. Drinking Buddies, go out and get BRT02. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. I'm your drinking buddy.